How about we do a quick walk around the fish room and I can show you how all the fish are doing and uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions about the fish room. Just be sure to post them below and uh, let's go ahead and take a walk around. In my planted live bear tank, things are nice and stable. The plants are looking great. The fish are healthy and active. This electric blue Okara continues to look more and more spectacular all the time. Little patch of neons back there. The lemon tetras, the red serpas, the other electric blue Okara. A group of rummy nose in here. My crazy whiptail catfish. Make them out there. Little auto. Love those little catfish. So cute. Two hundred and ten gallon is rocking. Oscar keeps growing like a weed, as does this uh, massive Yeha. It's a little Nicaragua. Nicaragua female, a little Salvini female, a little fire mouth back there with a the chocolate. We got some silver dollars in here as dither fish. There's the Jack Dempsey, another female. And I believe one of you told me this green tear is a male. Still being a very picky eater, except when I put bloodworms in, you can't resist bloodworms. I do have some of those uh, almond leaves in this tank. They do peck at them. They release some tannins. The Oscar and the uh, Salvini will get into it from time to time, but nothing, nothing extremely violent. They just sort of face off. The albino, the albino just keeps to herself. Beautiful Oscar. Salvini's playing hide and seek with me. There's a cave down there that she likes to go into. And then there's another cave on the other side over here that is her cave there. I get those caves from um, underwater galleries. I always suggest people put a cave in their tank. You never know who's gonna go into it. And sometimes it's a little surprising. This piece of driftwood that I found here locally continues to float. Who knows if it'll ever sink. <laughs> here are the African cichlids. Bucochromis. It's a Bucochromis. So is that one back there. Even though the Bucochromis uh, Rhodesia yellow doesn't seem to have as sloped a forehead as the Spectabilis. That Fusco is continuing to grow like crazy. Malawi Gar, those crazy lips. Beautiful, very docile Venusus. Turquoise Hap, Tangerine Tiger, Bicolor 500, little peewee of the tank, the Bicolor 500. This tank has a pre-filter on the, on the intake of the FX6. Of course, it has a sump and an FX6 doing the filtration duties, little sand diver.
beautiful Kawingi. The trout. He's got his fired up colors, but he's not acting aggressive right now, even though he has that dark blue going on, which usually means he's going to be corralling the fish onto the side of the aquarium. Here's the hawk. Tends to be a little camera shy. Very unique looking fish. Here's the live bear tank, which continues to produce a tremendous amount of fry. There's probably half a dozen or a dozen of them. And I think they're, they're surviving better since uh, I added I added those floating plants at the top there. The hornwort. So the hornwort is making a big difference in the, it's even a better, uh, better protection than the, than the sprite, than the water sprite. Some water sprite in there too, but the hornwort does a much better job. Who's this guy? All right. I'm on an extension cord, so let me see if I can get a. Uh, I've run out of we're out of room here, but let's take a look at the uh, beta tank. Where is he? There he is. Here he comes. There's a little bit of sprite and hornwort in there, as well as that floating red lily, which is really pretty. Beautiful fish. We got some Anubius in there, some caves, some Java fern. There's a pleco. There are a couple coolie loaches in there. They come out when the lights are off. Really cute fish though. So the beta tank is thriving. Here's the 90 gallon. And surprisingly the uh, red shoulder severum is near the front, which is very uh, unusual. This fish is very shy. Not shy with the other fish, really holds his own. Is actually a little bit on the aggressive side, especially in the way he treats the uh, red spotted gold severum. But usually when I'm around, he tends to hide in the back. A beautiful red spotted gold severum. Of course, this tank also has geos. And some uh, Buenos Aires Tetras, again, used as a sort of dither fish to kind of keep the geos from picking on each other so much. There's also an AC Hecali in here, hanging out near the top. He has those beautiful red trailing thread fins that come off the dorsal and the tail. And the tail shows some nice blue Nice blue fringe on the tail, very, very pretty. This tank it has a uh, very nice sand substrate, some rocks I picked up at the local fish store and some of that Zoomed Mopani wood and an artificial plant from my friends over at Elite Cichlids who are no longer in business, unfortunately. This tank also has a, uh, a UV sterilizer. And as you can see, it's producing just tremendous water quality, water clarity. So there's this week's lap of my fish room. Hope you enjoyed that. Any ideas, thoughts, or anything else, uh, let me know in the comments below. I didn't show you the red tear because he's actually hiding in his cave. So all you would have seen is a cave. No, wait, there he is. Okay, he came out of his cave. Let's see if I can sneak up on him while he's still out and show you his beautiful markings. I'm still seriously considering getting a female for him. Female red terror. They might be a little cramped in this 55 gallon, which might lead to 
maybe the female getting beaten up a little bit if she's a lot smaller than him. I would of course include some additional caves so there'd be a place for uh, both of them to chill out if they want to get away from each other a little bit. You can see how he's moved the sand in this tank. The sand was completely level and look at it now. Including completely bare bottom on this side. He loves his cave. Spends a lot of his time looking looking longingly over to the uh, to the live bear tank wishing he could get over there and have a snack I thank you for tuning in hope to see you on Saturday for cichlids and coffee at 11 a.m. central that's a live stream great group of fish keepers get together and talk about everything related to fish all right my friends I'll see you again soon if you'd like to see uh, more Go ahead and click here for more laps of fish room. Click down here for my best tips on fish keeping. And if you want to subscribe, give me a punch in the mug by hitting right here and you'll be subscribed to the channel. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.